here we are in uh, the area outside of the cathedral um, with all these zebra uh, marbles uh, that are decorated at the style called Romanesque Gothic or also Moorish uh, with uh, for example uh, the dark green Valerano marble is a serpentine, serpentinated, and uh, then the white marble uh, from the uh, mountains near Siena. So we don't have any um, Carrara marble in the decoration outside of the Duomo. Um, but we have a bronze door under the uh, tondo, so this round uh, sculpture um, that is Mary and the baby Jesus whose original uh, is uh, by Donatello, that we have uh, in our museum. And she is blessing this entrance to uh, a chapel that is inside of the Duomo um, that I really invite you to visit when you're here. So if you were already in Siena before, I'm sure that you've seen. If you haven't, come back, return, because it's really worth a visit. And we have uh, the works by Gian Lorenzo Bernini that is waiting for you inside. Um, the statue of Mary Magdalene and Saint Jerome are there. And Mary with the baby Jesus are still blessing the people that go there to light a candle. So the reason why the bronze door has four panels is because four times she performed miracles. The first time was in 1260 when Siena uh, defeated the Florentines in the Battle of Monteperti. So the uh, soldiers that are kneeling in front of Mary are the soldiers of Siena. Um, the second time is uh, when there was uh, uh, there were mercenary soldiers that were attacking the people of Siena. And so they asked for help. So offering the keys uh, of the city of Siena, of the walls of Siena to, to Mary. Uh, then earthquakes that damaged the city uh, were prevented, but also um, the, the, the pestilence sometimes has, has been uh, not so tragic because of her. And here we have the uh, moment of the liberation of Siena, 1944, when uh, on uh, um, July the 3rd, 1944, um, the American army together with the French army and the, the British army uh, reached uh, the, the city of Siena and stopped the Nazi fascism uh, after 20 years. Um, so you see the Virgin Mary and Child is carved here and uh, these are the keys offered to Mary. Last time the keys have been offered to the, uh, to the Virgin Mary and Child uh, is this year. So this year with the COVID, um, with coronavirus, the mayor of Siena has decided to offer the keys of Siena to Mary to protect us. Would you ever think that um, after seeing all what we saw before, so the cathedral, there is another floor, actually two other floors underneath it? Because um, when I was young, uh, I could come here, uh, sometimes there were exhibits inside this door. Um, sometimes there were special events. Um, but actually it was a small place. It was very mm, tiny and uh, you know, it was not used the way it is used today. Because our archeologists have done a very, very impressive work. That is, um, about 20 years ago, they were working um, at the chapel that is on the other side, because this is really a sort of Acropolis. You can just dig out and find uh, something new. So probably also under my feet not right now, but I, I won't do it. Uh, and they found uh, a tunnel. And so by walking, more than walking was crawling in it, they reached uh, an area of uh, the cathedral, actually on this level where I am, uh, that looked quite colorful, bright. And so they say, well, let's stop everything because here we have found something unusual and unexpected. And what they have found, they had already studied 
uh, in documents. And it was the crypt of the cathedral that for 700 years was completely hidden by the baptistry of St. John. Remember when I told you uh, once we were um, at the uh, hospital, Holy Mary of the Assumption, that the baptistry was uh, at a certain point in front of the cathedral, then it was uh, demolished and built here. So if you just have a look at this side, you're going to see that this is the baptistry we use today to baptize newborn babies. Um, well, when it was built, the crypt existed, but it was completely forgotten for 700 years and the colors and the artworks and the frescoes that are inside were abandoned. So by um, finding them, it was possible to restore. And now we're going to see what happened. result of the crypt, la cripta, that we have inside uh, the door. Uh, you see, it's also interesting through the map to get an idea because we had the cathedral, we visited the cathedral all the way under the dome, uh, then the Piccolomini library, and then uh, this is where the uh, high altar is that is not reachable uh, right now the crypt is under the high altar and it looks like this so originally uh, in the 1200s there were two levels uh, one dedicated to jesus christ so from the annunciation to the death of jesus crucifixion and then another level that we no longer have with just uh, some areas still uh, still there, uh, but the rest of it is supporting the floor of the cathedral. So the floor of the cathedral is what you're looking at here. So it's just under it. And uh, the colors were never restored for 700 years. And so they're still the original ones. Uh, orange, uh, pink, uh, look at the blue, lapis lazuli. So the lapis is uh, unique. And then the gold, uh, of the halos and then there are also sometimes areas where there is music written uh, under the um, uh, the paintings um, there are hands of people that arrived as pilgrims in the crypt or there are uh, special labyrinths that are also um, <clears throat> in a way connected with the search of uh, mysticism that all these people had. And just in a second, we kind of change again. Um, you were with me in the crypt and now uh, all of a sudden we have a Gothic facade of the baptistry of St. John. Um, the use of pink here is fantastic in uh, uh, these marbles. It's still uh, one of the baptistry, one of the churches that is used for special uh, blessings to the children, uh, the babies actually, of uh, Siena. But something that happens in the communities of Siena, in the contrade, as we call them, is the baptism of the newborn babies. So you have here, if you are Catholic, um, the baptism of the newborn babies. But if you are contradaios, or member of the community, one of the community of uh, the city, you can baptize your children in the community. And for example, the family that lived there has a flag out of the caterpillar. The caterpillars are silk weavers. And so probably in that family, everyone is blessed and baptized in the community of the caterpillar. In Siena today, we're going to see many flags because remember, it's also 
uh, repeat uh, the celebration of a special day, July the 2nd, when uh, uh, the Palio uh, is usually run. So after all this year, uh, this year, uh, we have uh, no Palio and it's a little bit sad for everybody. Now let's reach the area in front of the Duomo, Baptistry. You see, Duomo, Baptistry is just on the back of uh, the Duomo, the cathedral. So inside it is like this. Very uh, decorated again, a lot of uh, um, paintings again with the article of the creed just like in this in the um, church we saw in uh, Santa Maria della uh, Scala Holy Mary of the Steps um, and the baptismal font were also uh, Donatello worked so not only for the um, uh, the, the statue uh, in bronze of St. John the Baptist but also these bronze panels that you see here by um, and the floor, the floor is also here decorated. You can see how many people has passed here and so the uh, what remains of the decoration outside. But it's interesting to see uh, how they were dressed, w women and men to reach uh, the baptistry uh, of Siena with children.